know what's poppin', my nigga. Ferragami on the beat. Tires wearing down faster than usual, so I don't know, man. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm definitely not going coilovers, bro, and I'm definitely not going fast because I don't have that kind of money, and I want to be fast anyway. You know what I'm saying? So y'all should know that I will not be doing nothing like that. I will not be trying to. Y'all almost seen that? I am not trying to drop no bag and no suspension. I'm not trying to drop no bag and nothing like that. So. That being said, man, that's for all the people who keep recommending it. Let y'all know now I'm not doing that, bro. Um, but yeah, bro, I don't want to be the person who who goes and do the springs and be the one with the problems. I don't see like only two people talk about that subject, that touch base on that subject. Everybody else, a year later, year and a half later, they straight like they ain't really complained about that. But it was just this one video that I seen, bro. It be scaring me, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie. But that comes with modding any car. Anything that you touch um, can become a problem. Um, we still have to put the O2 sensors on here, bro. And that should take care of the check engine light to everybody who's concerned about that. And for the tire pressure light, um, these wheels do not have... These, these wheels do not have um, tire pressure monitor sensors. So that's the reason why the tie light on, bro. Like I got air in my tires and everything. I just don't have the sensors in these wheels. Why? I don't know why dude didn't buy them. I'm not finna be paying some extra money just to put them in here when I can tell if my tire is low or not. So I'm not tripping about that one light right there, bro. The only light that's really stopping me from doing a lot of things that I wanna do is the check engine light. And I only get codes for the O2 sensors. And my O2 sensors, I think, are gone. You know what I'm saying? Like, burnt out. So, I got some new ones. We're going to replace it. And if the light go off, y'all know what it is. And if the light don't go off, then y'all still, you know what I'm saying? It's dealing with my exhaust system, bro. Like, I am... Y'all don't realize how loud this car is. So, y'all don't... Y'all wouldn't understand. You know what I'm saying? I basically got headers, bro. And I'm straight pipe. So, and I was getting on a check engine light with my, my straight pipes. But not like I am with the headers because I did something else, gang, that I'm not going to tell y'all. So it's dealing with the exhaust. So if y'all know, y'all should know people in the car world. And people who are not in the car world, if you don't know, I'm sorry. But it's something that I'm just not finna mention over the camera. So, yeah, with that being said, man, we're just going to go ahead and hop into this video.
to spend some money on them. I got these right from a van. They already got them. You know what I'm saying? Ready. But y'all yeah, had to go on that back road before I hit it, gang. So I hope y'all understand. Oh, God, man. Give y'all one hard pull after this curve. y'all about that bro i do not be farming my car bro like that don't even be half throttle that don't need to be 50 percent every time i mash out like that bro like i barely hit the gas i don't even want to see what that car do if i uh if i floor it i do not want to find out South Carolina, get out there. <laughs> Turn it AC off. Come on, Jaguar. Grandma, man, how the folk come, bro? Turn off slow and shit. I know I should have went in front of you. Uh, bro, that nigga said it'd be hard. <laughs> So that junk that I need for the car, bro, for the AC is $80. Let me show y'all what it is, bro. It's a little ass sensor for $80. Chill out, bro. See if I can open it with one hand. Bro, this little bit right here with eight it off. And it'd be better work. If it don't work, I still take my eight dollar back though. I ain't gonna count. Dang, I couldn't find no reviews or nothing uh, how to goddamn take this off, bro. So this just stick on by glue. So it's okay if you pull this down from your windshield. If y'all don't know where it's at, it's right here. You feel me? So you turn it to the bottom, bro, and you slide this over and push out. If you try to do this while it's up there and you trying to goddamn get this out, bro, it ain't going to never work, bro. Dang, it don't want to stick back up, though. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to rub some of this around the glass part with a the tape it and then i'm gonna put it back up though and just like that game hopefully we good oh, i didn't hold it that long bro it's too hot out here bro i gotta got dang go now i 
gang as you see. Wait for this to come back up. Hey, Johnson. All right, gang. It's working now, as y'all see. Uh, we don't have the max AC, so I got to figure out what's going on with that. But for right now, this going to have to work. It's blowing better than what it was. I can actually feel it all the way back here now. Normally, it was just up here, but now it's back here. But we're going to figure out where the max, heat, the max AC went. And then once we figure that out, she should be back good. You know what I'm saying? We still not at 100% with the car. Like I said, I got to go put the O2 sensors on, as you see. Check engine light is on. Everybody keep warning. I mean, um, telling me about that. I see that check engine light every day, bro. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing too major. That's why I ain't tripping. But with that being said, bro, we getting the AC together, bro. And that's all that matter, bro. So, yeah.